Oh, good morning, y'all. Yes, sir. It is a good morning, Jesus, Lord. The Word works. Now, you have to go to the Word, find out what the Word says. We are so blessed, golly, blessed. For the law of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. In other words, I am made free from the yoke that is in this world because Jesus has paid an awesome price for our total salvation. Now, the coronavirus, I want to go to Psalm 91 today. I'll be on this for several days. Protection is around everything that I do. We are blessed to be protected by the power of God. So we're just going to start reading this and studying this. Psalm 91, Woo! protection, glory be to God. No plague shall come nigh my dwelling. But let's start here in verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall, not maybe, but shall abide under the shadow of the Most High. Now watch this. He that dwelleth lives in. Now, you see the surroundings of my home. That's where I live. I live here in this home. I sleep here. I get up here. I eat breakfast here. I eat supper here. Uh, unless I take my wife out for dinner. This is my dwelling place place. This is where I live. Somebody says, uh, Pastor Frank, where do you live? I can give them the address. I can actually take them in the house if I wanted to. This is my living place. Well, dwelling place is you live in the presence of Almighty God. <laughs> I got to say that again. We're blessed, man. When God's there, now watch, we've had rain. Oh, dear Lord. I mean, we've had more rain here in the South, I think, than we've ever had in a lifetime. Rain nearly every day. In fact, I heard somebody say the other day about daylight savings times, which was yesterday, said, only thing we're going to lose is an hour of rain. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day today. I'm going fishing today. I'm going to catch a bunch of fish, too, while I'm out there. But you see, I'm in my dwelling place. The rain doesn't bother me. I mean, it don't. I don't get wet. Now, I've got sense enough that when it's raining outside, don't go out there. Well, that's what Psalm 91 is talking about. When we live in or make our dwelling in the, the, the place of the Most High God, and it is a secret place to which the devil does not understand. Let me read that to you again. Now, watch this. He that dwelleth in the secret place. That's a place that nobody else can understand or get into. And I personally believe that it might be dwelling in the presence of the blood. We may get into that later on. But he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Who blessed we are. I've got to tell a story. This has been 25 years ago, I guess, maybe a little bit more. I was off someplace holding a meeting, had gone by myself for two or three days. I think it was a Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday convention. And I had a a little hotel room, just a little one-story hotel room, very nice, had a little patio out back, and there was a pond out there. And there was a couple of beautiful swans out there swimming around in that pond. I'd get up early in the morning, do my morning walk like I still do now, and, and I'd go out there and I'd just look at those swans. They were gorgeous. I mean, that's one of God's most beautiful animals. Well, the first day, I just kind of watched them, didn't pay any attention. The second day, um, you know, I, I, I noticed, I think there's some baby swans with them. I couldn't see them. Every now and then, I'd kind of see one run out from under, uh, you know, one of the swans. And one, was the, 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 I think it was the male was black and the female was white. Beautiful. I mean, it was beautiful. So on the second morning, I decided I'm going to get a little bit closer. You know, I was maybe 30 yards from them. I thought, I'm going to get 10, 15 yards. I want to see them babies, uh, you know, just to enjoy, uh, you know, the creation of God. So I kind of began to ease up on him a little bit. And, um, you know, the, the black one just kind of started watching me and raised his old head up and kind of began to chuckle a little bit and make some noises. And I thought, well, I'm going to get just a little bit closer and maybe they'll come out from under daddy or mama there and I'll get to see them. Now, I wasn't planning on petting them. I knew better than that. But I thought, I just want to see them. Just, you know, be there. I got about, oh, maybe 15, 20 yards from them. Man, I'll tell you, I had no idea that swans could be so bad and be so big. That old daddy swan raised up them rings, stood up wings wide out. He must have been 10 feet wide, stood up tall, screamed at me, and raised up. And when he did, there's about six or seven of them little babies. They went running over there under mama's skirt, so to speak. And, and he come running after me, and I was like the devil, man. I ran in stark terror. <laughs> 
you know, I don't know if he'd have bit me, flogged me, hit me or what, but I'm telling you, he was huge and he was coming after me because he was going to protect them babies. Oh my. We're under the shadow of the most high God and our high God is going to protect them babies. Now, listen, that old swan would have given his life for them babies. He intended to do whatever he had to do to get rid of me. Glory be to God. God is like that. He's going to protect them babies and not, listen, that old swan would have given his life for them babies. Good news. Jesus did give his life for his babies and I'm one of them. Glory be to God. So here's the point I'm trying to get across to you. You abide under the shadow of the Most High God when you make God your dwelling place, and he'll do whatever he's got to do. In fact, he already gave his life for you. What else could he do? To protect his young, to protect his children. I'm one of those children. Somebody said, well, you don't look like a child. Hey, I'm God's child. I'm God's son, and God's going to look out for me. And somebody comes around and goes to messing with me, boy, he's going to raise up them big old wings. He's going to get big and strong because I abide under the shadow of his wings and he's going to protect me. That's Psalm 91. How blessed we are to have such a powerful protection. Scripture protects us. No plague shall come by nigh my dwelling. You know that new virus out of coronavirus or whatever it is. It can't come nigh me. I'm not going to get it. You know, and they, I, I've read articles, you know, you know uh, the people don't have to worry about their young, but them old folks, they better worry about it. That's fear that the devil's trying to put on you because it's not going to come nigh you anyway. It doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. You are the redeemed, and I'm dwelling, living in the uh, uh, dwelling place, the secret place. The devil can't get me. He don't even know where I'm at, let alone how to get in. He that dwelleth in the secret place, that's the blood. We'll get to that. Who dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Watch now. He shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Great day. We're going to be on this for several days. Woo, powerful stuff. Redeemed, blessed, protected on uh, God's side and God's on my side. Hey, I got to go, saints. Have a great day. And remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.